Uh, hi there, this is Teacher Pirui and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you about uh, kinetic energy, gravitational potential energy and how you can actually calculate mechanical energy. So without any further ado, let's take a ride. What is kinetic energy? So kinetic energy is simply the energy that an object in motion happens to be in possession of. So if we happen to raise an object up here, if let's say we have such an arrangement, a path, a curved path, and then we happen to put a ball there, we glue it there. As long as it's glued and it's not in motion, it has what we call potential energy. So potential energy is simply the energy that an object that happens to be in possession of when it's stationary. <clears throat> now if we happen to release it, the moment it begins to move, that potential energy happens to begin to change. It to be converted into kinetic energy. That brings us to the concept of the principle of conservation of energy. That you cannot destroy energy, but uh, you can only change its form. So the potential energy which the, the ball was in possession of is now converted into kinetic energy as the ball is moving. When it, it, it goes up there, it will again happen to have potential energy because all the kinetic energy will actually be converted into potential energy. Then again, when it begins to fall, that potential energy will be converted into kinetic energy. And uh, it will keep on oscillating like that and energy will keep on changing its form. So you've linked off two things. So potential energy is the energy that an object happens to be in possession of when it's stationary. And kinetic energy is the energy that an object happens to be in possession of when it's actually in motion. Now gravitational, there are so many forms of potential energy which may include chemical potential energy, electrical potential energy, gravitational potential energy and elastic potential energy. I won't go in depth explaining all those, but I'll stick to gravitational potential energy. So gravitational potential energy is the energy that an object that happens to be in possession of relative to the ground. All right, so those are the two types of energy that we're going to look at and how you can actually resolve their values. Gravitational potential energy kinetic energy and mechanical energy. So now let's look at this problem that we have here. So the problem reads, the 160 grams ball is thrown vertically upwards as shown in the diagram below. So this is the diagram. This is the diagram here. The diagram shows the ball when it, it's seven meters above the ground. Calculate its a kinetic energy at seven meters. So it was it was thrown from 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 below, and it went up. The moment it reached here, obviously it stopped moving because all the kinetic energy it had would have actually been converted into potential energy. It stopped and then it started falling back downwards. So now the same calculate is kinetic energy at seven meters. So now when calculating kinetic energy we normally use the formula. Kinetic energy is given by half mv squared. So I want you to take note of this one thing, which is very important. The fact that it reached seven meters high, and that was the highest, you know, point at which it, it could go, then its velocity was zero. The moment it, so we are applying 
the concept of free fall. So the moment it, it, it reached this point, its, it, it, its, its final velocity was actually zero. So if we were to collect data, we would have mass given as 160 grams. Then what else are you seeing there? We've been given the height through which the ball went. And that's the maximum height. That is height given as 7 meters. Then what else? The initial speed at which it was moving. Initial velocity as 5 meters per second. Okay, I think that's what we've been given. Now, if we are now asked to resolve this, we will now begin to think of the final velocity. Final velocity is equal to zero. Because if it reached this point, it goes up and then it reaches that point, then it stops moving. So final velocity is equal to zero. So now, uh, what's the kinetic energy? So kinetic energy is equal to you half. What's the mass? The mass is 160 grams. So we need to make sure that it's in kgs. So to convert this into kgs, we have to divide by 1,000. And that gives us 0 0.16. You can punch the calculator to prove that. You may be like, where is that one coming from? Or why are we dividing by 1,000? What it is, we say 1,000 grams, give us 1 kg. Then how about 160 grams? We don't know. Then we cross multiply, so that we have 1,000x, which is equal to 160. Then we want to find the value of x, so we need to divide 1,000 both sides. So we're going to have x is equal to 0 0.16. That's the reason why I was dividing by 1,000 here. Okay, so now we can plug in the mass, then velocity, we're looking at the final velocity. That is zero squared. So kinetic energy is equal to zero joules. Since it stopped at that point, but if they had said through as it was going up, what was its kinetic energy? But uh, they're saying at seven meters, at this point where it stopped. So it's a zero. And that makes sense. As long as something isn't moving, then it has no kinetic energy. Let's move on to the second one. Calculate the gravitational potential energy. So gravitational potential energy is given by P E is equal to MGH. So P E denotes potential energy, then M denotes mass, G denotes pole of gravity, and H denotes height. Let's plug in the values. What's the mass? 0 0.16 times what's the pole of gravity? That's that's always given us 10. Minus 9.8 something something. So when you round up, when you round it off to, to the to the nearest ones, you have a 10. Then the height is 7. When you multiply out those figures, you're gonna have 11.2 joules. So since we are still talking about energy, we have to record it in joules. So we found the potential energy, the gravitational potential energy, and the kinetic energy. What then is mechanical energy? So mechanical energy is actually given by kinetic energy plus gravitational potential energy. So we now have kinetic energy, which is zero, plus gravitational potential energy, which is 11.2, and the answer will be 11.2 joules. Friends, that's how we actually resolve questions that have to do with gravitational potential energy, kinetic energy, and mechanical energy. Don't forget to share the video with your friends, subscribe and turn on the notification bell, and drop a comment in the comment section.
Thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed.